Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Friday, March the 22nd, 2024. Uh, we continue, or we'll be finishing up today and tomorrow, our look at, at Mark 13 and all this talk about the end times and the things that are going to happen. And, um, you know, and Jesus is kind of saying, yeah, these things are going to happen. There's going to be some signs. It's going to be like the coming of summer. You know, there's there there's going to be some indications, but um, then in verse 32 of uh, Mark 13, he said, But about that day or hour no one knows, near the, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, uh, but only the Father. And yet that hasn't stopped people from trying to predict the end, right? Um, I mentioned some of them in my sermon on Sunday. Here's a couple of others, or, or maybe some are repeated, but the, the world's worst uh, predictions uh, King George II said in 1773 that the American colonies had little stomach for revolution. Um, an official of the White Star Line, speaking in the firm's newly built flagship, the Titanic, launched in 1912, declared that the ship was, of course, unsinkable. 1939, the New York Times said that the problem of TV was that people had to glue their eyes to the screen and that average Americans wouldn't have time for it. And finally, an English astronomy professor said in the early 19th century that air travel at high speed would be impossible because passengers would suffocate. Um, we're really bad at predicting the future on just about every level and certainly uh, about the end times. Uh, Tony Campolo uh, has an interesting way of, of looking at it, thinking about, you know, looking at all the, because there's, there's the, I'll call them fear mongers for lack of a better term, that you know, say, oh, look at this, this is happening, that's happening, you got to be afraid, and and so forth. And um, he looks at it this way. He said, uh, um, imagine during World War II, there was a, a group of heroic men and women in France who formed an underground movement that struggled against the, the domination of the, the Nazi powers. And if you had been able to talk to them, you might have questioned the seeming futility of their efforts. You might have said, how do you think that you can overthrow the Nazis? Together, you're nothing but a ragtag army, poorly equipped and overwhelmingly outnumbered. You don't stand a chance against the tyrannical forces that control your nation. But they might have responded, you don't understand. While we struggle against the forces of evil that now dominate our nation, there is a huge invasion force being assembled just across the English Channel. No one knows the day or the hour when the signal will be given. But one of these days, it will be given. And then a huge armada of ships will come across the channel and invade our country. We will join with them, and they will carry us to victory. And so Tony Campolo says this, So it is with those of us who struggle against the forces of darkness within history. We do so with the anticipation that on a day and an hour that no one knows, a trumpet will sound. And a huge invasion force will be brought into our world, led by Christ himself. His triumphant army will join with the church militant and carry us on to victory. And so right tucked in the middle of that lesson uh, from last Sunday, the part that I didn't read on Sunday morning, um, when Jesus says, but in those days after that suffering, uh, the sun will be dark and the moon will not give its light. The stars will be falling from heaven. The powers in the heavens will be shaken. But then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the earth. And so we have hope. Uh, we have confidence even. Um, even when things look look bad. Um you may have noticed that my head is shaved. As many of you undoubtedly know, my daughter Caitlin is fighting um, leukemia right now. And uh, there's a lot of unknowns. It, it is a very scary time for her and for us. Um, but in these kinds of moments, and we're certainly not the only ones going through it by any means. So maybe some of you can personally identify with this currently or in the lives of those close to you, or at some point, um, we have faith. We put our faith and trust uh, uh, in 
the one who promises that that day and that hour will come. We don't know. Jesus himself confessed that he doesn't know. Only the Father knows. But we have that confidence um, that all of the, the wrongs of this world will be righted. Um, all the pain of this world will be overcome. Uh, all the evil will be replaced by good. Um, uh, all the suffering um, uh, will be no more. And as the book of Revelation says uh, in a couple of places, God himself will wipe away every tear from our eyes. So we don't fear the end. Um, none of us knows when that will come. But we look at the end, whether it's a long time away or more imminent for some of us, we look at it through the eyes and the lens of faith, knowing that God is with us. Uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll be with you tomorrow to wrap this up. Until then, take care. Bye.